Welcome back to Advanced Answers. If you're enjoying our videos, please like us and subscribe to our channel. PicoShore Tattoo Removal. PicoShore Tattoo Removal has been available since 2013. What makes the PicoShore laser unique for tattoo removal is the speed with which the light is produced using wavelengths that pulse a trillion times a second. I'll explain why we prefer PicoShore tattoo removal results over other lasers and I'll show PicoShore tattoo removal before and after photos. A tattoo is placed in the skin using small needles to deposit large particles of ink. The ink is placed in the dermal layer of the skin, which is beneath the epidermis, or the top protective layer. The tattoo will typically fade with time as some smaller particles of the ink are absorbed, the ink settles into the deeper layers, or the ink fades with sun exposure. A tattoo is permanent because the body is not able to eliminate the large particles of ink as they're too big for white blood cells to capture and carry to the lymphatic system, which is how the body rids itself of debris or dead cells. PicoShore laser tattoo removal works in the following way. The incredibly fast light pulses pass through the epidermis and are absorbed by the ink particle of the dermis. The effect of absorbing the light is like hitting the ink with a hammer. It breaks it into smaller pieces. The white blood cells are now able to capture the smaller pieces and carry them away. The older tattoo removal lasers in use, called Q-switch lasers, do not have the same effect. The wavelength of light produced by the Q-switch tattoo removal lasers is absorbed by the ink and causes a thermal reaction, breaking the ink apart with heat. Think of a blowtorch. The problem is that this tends to be less effective, more painful, more likely to cause bleeding, and more likely to cause scarring. Both lasers can treat black ink, while blue and green respond better with the PicoShore, and red ink will fade best with a 532 wavelength laser. What about results of PicoShore tattoo removal after one session? Because laser tattoo removal is uncomfortable, topical numbing and or chilled air is used during treatment. Procedure time depends on the size of the tattoo. Immediately after treatment, the tattoo will look white for a short time. This is called frosting and is due to small air bubbles produced as the laser hits the ink. A protective ointment and bandage are applied and used for 7 to 10 days. There may be blistering from the treatment and redness of the area. Both are common. During the next 6 weeks, the body will be at work absorbing the ink particles. Treatment can be repeated at 6 week intervals. PicoShore laser tattoo results will vary based on many factors. The type and color of ink used, the depth and density of the ink, the location of the tattoo, and the overall health of the individual. It is impossible to predict how many sessions are needed, but 7 to 10 is a common estimate. Light tattoos will fade faster than denser ones, as do cover-ups. Individuals with dark skin or darker residual tan are at risk for loss of pigment as the ink is being removed. As with any type of laser treatment, we do advise of the small risk of scarring and pigment change. With patients in adequate number of sessions, PicoShore tattoo removal laser results are very good. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this information helpful, please click the like button and subscribe.